Shomer Shalom everybody. Today we're going to uh, do a little video on um, what it means for a neutron star, how God's number comes in this, and we're going to do what is DAG, which is fish. And in Genesis 48:16, it says that you're going to grow into the midst. And as fish to grow into the midst. Well, it doesn't make a lot of sense until we look at it uh, from the nature side of things. Also in Genesis 9-2, the dread of Noah would be upon what is the fish, meaning he would have dominion or authority over it. Dag has a gematria of seven. Other words that have the gematria of seven were the abode, uh, the adobe, which is kind of funny that it's uh, to mean a vex and that there's a Photoshop company uh, named Adobe because we really have some holographic imagery that comes from Adobe in this. Also, it means kebab for a gematria of seven, which is curved, bent, uh, crooked, convex, concave, dig, which is all sorts of different ways of saying that God is chiral. In chiral you'll start seeing, especially in string theory, when you start getting all the twists and you fold up and you get one unit, but it, when you unravel it and then untwine it, you get it all laid out so that you can see it. And also you have the word dab, which is to flow. So everything needs to flow. String theory needs to be together, but it also needs to be able to be laid out apart. You have the abode, so you have you have to have what is darkness, and you have to have light happening at the same time, and you have to have an image, which is the adobe. So all this is taking place in the DAG, which is the neutron star or magnetar. And you'll see it in black holes. So uh, we need to understand what electromagnetic radiation is. Uh, and it's a form of radiant energy. As I've spoken in Luria uh, Kabbalah that we have what is God goes out and realizes he's alone and then he contracts and then we have a radiation going on. He radiates his energy. So this is how we're going to radiate and this is going to be that design. Um, and energy like this is in electromagnetic waves. Also, we have to understand what a compact star is. That's white dwarfs, neutrons, black holes. They kind of go into what are stellar remnants. Uh, and so this is portion of how those designs work. Uh, also, we have an event horizon that takes place when we think of black holes uh, before something goes supernova or dwarf stars as a pulsate. We also have gamma repeaters. Uh, as this is chiral and turns, that is what's causing the breakup and the repeating gamma rays that come off the radiation. Uh, we also have some quantum tonics here. We have Bergson theory here. We have arches and nextings. All this takes place so that way we can understand and get better accuracy of position and momentum at the same time. So in this diagram, we had the seven planes of existence. We have seventh dimension. We have the tenth dimension, and so we have Zion. And Zion, I put in, and I showed you the flat planes of existence where we had the right triangles being formed, and from that, you built the, the bow, and you got the rainbow, so you'll have to go back and look at it. But here you'll see the planes of existence. So if you were to look at it like this, this is what it would look like if you were to look down and look across and see a, like the surface of a star. So you get the 2D dimensions. As well, in 2D you got it shooting out. So if you look at a black hole, you'll see what is an emissions that comes out. And this emissions is the light that's getting restructured in conservation of energy and thrown out. 
where we get the word dag in Hebrew is this fish because it is string theory. Why does the fish come string theory? And I showed you in David that we have Tet in the basket. I spoke about Tet being the basket in the 10th dimension. As you can see here, when we have, this is just one line of a star. Or at the same time, a black hole, how the energy pushes through. And at the same time, on the other side, you have a vacuum. So the arrows would be reversed on this side. So on this side, the arrows were reversed. So, and this is the side they go out. So in that, you will see, it looks like a big, uh, giant mushrooming of magnetic field energy. We also have two different levels of magnetic energies. If you look at what is a magnetar, you will see different realms. I got yellow or orange coming out, and I have green. So you have an upper spout, and you have, a, and you have more of a rounder spout. So you have this belly of a big fish. So like if you think of Jonah, this is going to be the big fish, and you're going to have the spout that comes out. And so you're going to take in, and you're going to shoot out and spot out. Why is it three days? Well, we have some different string theories that take place. These are your fish on your stringers. Okay, these are all done in sine waves. Right here, you have the quantonics and string theory being unfolded. As each unfold comes out, you start to get an image. You can see an image form. On the outside, the green will be what is seen like in a black hole. That is the portion you can see before the event horizon. The event horizon is going to happen on the orange lines. These are formed as you get arcs off these triangles in here. And this is how it comes through. As well, you can see here is my 470. You get a 360, so these turn and twist and turn and twist, but they stop in this 360, so they're going around like this on each one of these going around, and this is how quantonics measures accuracy and momentum at the same time. So this would be uh, what is known as the next things. So this also is moving this way. You have two pieces here, and they're going to roll together up. And it's going to measure this way. As well, you have them measuring and rolling this way. You have these turning here. You have your quantonic blankets and string theory taking place that unfolds fabric of time, which paints a holographic picture. As well, we have some other things in here. These are just thetas for just showing that we have different angles here. But... When we start looking at this, you also get a greater picture here on the sign here. You'll see this actually will connect another set of triangles and over flat. Just so each set of triangles is forming a complete stock. When you start putting the points together, this would be the rounding surface. This would actually be the surface that comes in towards the middle point. And eventually, you start having building blocks in Fibonacci, and they double up. So you can make the next triangle up and the next one down here, and it just becomes a giant string theory. So when you heard Jesus speak uh, of, of, I'm going to make you fisher of men, well, that's a child story. Jonah's a child story. What is the net that you're going to catch these big fish? This is your net. This is your stringer of fish. Where's the net? The net is right in here. It is formed by the quantonic blankets. And how they're turning, each one of these fish are actually spiral. That's your existence. And then each one of these can be put into a cube. And I talked about what is a gleaming cube. In that gleaming cube, I did in a video what is the shadows and what is the illumination. Every time one of these turns, you get a shadow, and it allows, as you can see, the arcs from the event horizon and the surface of which you can actually see. These are right here. They pass through every arc, and they take, and when that chiral turns, those two magnetic fields hit, 
one gets caught and the other one gets stuck. And so, as you've seen in Hawkins was speaking about, well, there's information getting stuck in the black hole. It's not that it just gets absolved or dissolved in there. It's just getting stored endlessly. Well, it does. But at some point it comes back out and it gets reformulated. So, and then you have the firewall theory. Well, what is firewall theory? Well, the firewall is taking place every time one of these turn, you actually get the quantonic roll coming up. So as your quantonic's rolling, this is turning. So as you turn, you have quantonics. That's why I spoke about it being 360. And at the same time, you have to think of things chiral. All these things work together and it's very hard because we got a lot of dimensions happening. But this is a basic drawing of the outburst of a black hole. You can use that you can see the quantonic string theory taking place here. You can see where the event horizon is going to take place. You can see where the firewall takes place all in this picture. So when God said, I'm going to give you dominion over the fish, Noah. Well, you have one center point, Noah. The center point being here. No matter where it's at, he's going to have all the fish. Every fish that comes off of here, you'll get more up here. All the fish, and it's said that God's body was adorned by light. Well, he adorned himself by light. And by each turn, every time one of these fish turn, you'll see they spin and that light is allowed through. And that's the radiance. That radiance, some of it leaves and gets stuck inside the event horizon. That's so you don't die. He said nobody can look upon him. Well, there's an event horizon. You can understand what goes on in here. But outside is the image and reflection. And if you start going out here, you can actually get the images of our fish, of who we are. So even here, each one of us, you can actually start making fish out here and you'll see in our image. So let's make man in our image. So when God decided to move this entire mass and everything started spinning in motion and you started having all the different roles here in quantonics to accuracy and momentum, you get colors and spin rolling across. We have lots going on. The science and math behind these calculations are very, very sophisticated. They can be done, but you have to understand you have to have a 470 to make naked. And that 470, every time they spin, the measurement takes place here from here to here. And this new triangle is the part that captures one of these and allows the event horizon to pass through. So you have one part that gets refracted back in because God always collects his tithe the 10 degree turn every time. That's your 10th. He's going to take 10 every time when it's chiral spins. And this goes all the way around him. All the way across him, this is taking place. There's so much in quantonics, and I think that most people need to learn what it is when it starts talking about time so we can get a better sense of what is relative and what is not. Magnetars is the same thing that kills viruses. This is very important if you ever want to start healing people on this earth. Shomer Shalom.